Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm so excited to have you here with me today. I'm gonna paint some Black Eyed Susans. I'll link this in the video's description. And if these aren't Black Eyed Susans, let me know. Um, they're yellow daisies with dark centers. Okay, let's have some fun. Let's set the table. I'm using, I, I use these, my primaries, quote unquote, quite a bit. Um, we'll start with titanium white. Cad yellow, medium hue. I, I always buy the cad yellow in the basics because I go through quite a bit. Um, I, I also have the heavy body in the white. Um, I have heavy body in some of the other colors. And some colors don't come in both the heavy body and the basics, so. Um, that was awesome. I got sidetracked there. Quinacridone magenta. <laughs> now I got a giggle because I, I already messed up. Thalo blue. I, I think this only comes in the basics. I use Thalo blue green shade quite a bit in the heavy body. Mars black. Okay. And then what I did is I mixed a red violet. This is actually a little bluer when I, I remixed some more of it. Um, and that's that's okay because it's actually, I like that it's darker here. I just made it darker on a third. Um, I mixed an aqua color with a little phthalo, well, quite a bit actually, phthalo blue, some cad yellow and some titanium white. And all I'm thinking is a background. I've got a dark on the third. You know, I could use green, I could use blue. I'm seeing like there's a little color or something on the. I got too much water in my brush. Let's kind of blend that in. I'm cleaning out my brush so I don't forget. Um, if you do, as, as soon as you find a brush that you forgot to wash out, put some alcohol in it or some hand sanitizer in it and it'll help break down the paint. Let it sit for a minute couple minutes. I used a one inch brush from Low Cornell just to get the paint on. This is a five by seven inch uh, cradle wood panel from US Art Supply. I really like these. Um, you, if you guys are curious about them, I have a link below in this video's description. And I, what I'm thinking is I'm going to put some really big, like I've got a light spot there, but I think we'll be okay. Um, Put some really big cone flowers on. So should we put one? I like, or not cone flowers, Black Eyed Susans. Maybe they are a cone flower too. I always think of the cone flowers as being pink. So I'm, I'm drawing an arch, kind of rounding it. What's nice is this white General's chalk. Uh, charcoal pencil shows up quite well on the dark colors. All right, we got one. I kind of want to overlap them too. Maybe I think I think what I'll do, since this is a, a little painting and it's going to be fairly simple, maybe we'll kind of do an A-shape design or a upside down triangle design. I guess A-shape works better for Annie. Okay. Um, I think we'll still, maybe I'll make this one bigger. Just trying to make it bigger. Sometimes I like to have a little petal. I don't know if it actually would do that, but I, I like to have a little petal that kind of comes up. Round. 
or square. You can make them all cone shape. Excuse me. I dried this with a hair dryer. If you also wait a little longer, um, like even an hour, it depends on the humidity in your studio. But you could, um, I, you know, this sometimes will stick into the paint because it's not very dry yet, even though it's dry to the touch. Um, but if you wait a little longer, then it's easier to wash it off too. I wish I could give you a definite, like 15 minutes does the trick. Let's maybe stick like a little, a little one. Um, when I do the cone flowers, I often title them ballerinas because it's they look like little, like this is the ballerina skirt and this is the body. Let's have a size change here. Let's put a real big one. So generally I have darker at the bottom, not everywhere. Smaller, not completely smaller. This one's smaller, but smaller at the top, bigger. Just to help sort of weight, weight it, give it some stability. Do we do another smaller one or do we want to do another? We could also put in some either ones that have lost their petals or some like green buds. Oh, I'm trying to decide. I'm looking at my reference photo and oh, what do we want to do? Maybe kind of a medium one. I tend to, this one's looking straight up, which is nice, but I tend to lean them, have them looking in so this one looks in a little bit. That one looks that way a little bit. This one definitely looks that way a little bit. Let's see, that one's gonna be wide. Maybe we'll just have this one be kind of droopy. I don't know if I really need to put in the stems. And I might put some blue in here too. I might, I'll play with it. I might end up covering up quite a bit of my back quite a bit of my background. One, two, three, four. So I've got six. <laughs> we could put another little one up here. We could put one. Maybe we'll just put one like it's a bud. So I'm thinking circle shape. And then we could like I do this with the daisies, just kind of have some petals coming out. Okay, I think we're gonna call that plenty for now. I'm gonna mix some brown and paint some centers and then I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, I thought I'd pop in. So I painted the centers kind of, a, well I did, a brown and a white and shaped them a little bit just so I could see them, get some color down. Uh, the white helps cover the strong colors in the background. And then I added 
Oh, I think I had some little yellows and I'm like, oh, I need them darker. Added some red, added some magenta, added a little straight up phthalo blue. Here, let's get it closer. I like doing the centers first because then I can attach the petals to them. And you can still adjust the centers. Okay, so what I'm, and I'm using a, what am I using? A half inch brush, 13 millimeters from Royal and Langnickel. It's their Zen line. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, and then I just, like I grab a little white and yellow because it'll cover pretty well. Lay the brush down so it's skinny and then when I turn it, it gets fatter. This one I just kind of change the angle on. And then these are more up and down. And I came back and added some blue on that one. So I'm thinking Mr. Sun's over here. Kind of coming down at this angle. This one's in a shadow. I'm gonna I'm gonna make that stronger. I'm just kind of laying out where the um petals are going. I don't know, do I wanna maybe we kinda want a fat one over here. We'll do that first. I have a little white. So this is white and phthalo blue. And yeah, that's kind of nice. I'm going to wipe out my brush and we'll grab, make it darker. Oh, that's really dark. Oh, and actually that might be okay. Yes, as well. I'll just kind of stroke it a couple times. Yeah, you don't have to get it right on the first try. And your petals can connect too. That's kind of fun. It's starting to get some life. I'm liking the background a little bit better. That one might actually have some light on it. I think I'm gonna paint this one all blue. Let's see here. Normally, oh, well, I guess not normally for me anymore. I video so many of my paintings, but you know, pick it up turn it. That'll help you. I just thought I'd pop in and do a few in real time. And it's okay if I go over that pedal. Uh, this reminds me of what I want. I think I want to connect some of these. You can use more than one brush, so I like I stick mine in water, clean it out. Because the, the blue and the yellow make a green, which actually isn't, I don't think that really would matter with such a dark background. I'm just gonna, the yellow will be transparent. Oh, actually I want some yellow and white, I think, because I'm gonna put in, oops, I got a blob of water. I bet it dripped off my brush. I need to remember to, I really need to keep a rag after I wash out my brush and then wipe it. I'm real bad about doing that. I need to get in the habit. Okay, I'm just get another blob of water. What's nice about acrylic is it dries pretty fast. Let's see, I don't want to go over that one yet. I don't think it's dry enough. So I'm going to have this one, I'm gonna have the petals. Go over on the side. Here, let's just, we'll make kind of a green. Maybe I'll pick it up.
either stop it quite a bit short. I think I'll do that. I'm going to grab just a little bit of water. I don't like that it's going right to the corner, but I think we'll be okay. It's a pretty simple painting. All I'm trying to do is just grab a little paint, a little water, and load up my brush a little bit. Let's try this again. I'm gonna paint it. Make this one darker. You don't have to paint them this exaggerated. It can be kind of, it, it usually is a good idea to shift your colors and you can come back and soften them if you want. Okay, it's getting pretty, it's coming along. Oh, I don't know, we could finish the petals. We could put in some, I always put in some weeds. We could put in a bee. I've got, I'm looking at my paintings. I've got, a, I'm painting this right before my show in June. This will post, oh gosh, I guess it'll post while my show's still going on. Um, I'm looking to see how many bees I have. We could put a little bee in it. We'll figure that out in a little while. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a bit. I'm done. I was a little nervous about my color choices. Excuse me. Um, I like it. The warm really pops off of the cooler aqua and the purple. Oh, look at my hands. <laughs> I must have, I grabbed something. Hopefully I don't have this on my painting here. I painted the sides. Just hinted at a flower off in the distance. There's not much on the top. Not much on the bottom. But I don't know how I got that all, all over my hands. I don't I don't see that I got it on the painting. Okay, good. That made me nervous. I must have like wiped my hands. It looks like I wiped my hands. <laughs> Are you guys messy or artists? Uh, let me know in the comments. Or if you're neat artists, let me know in the car comments. Or if you're somewhere in the in between. Okay, so I like the colors. I'm getting a lot of drama because I have a lot of contrast. You know, uh, yellow, white, yellow. I put in a couple of like dots, sort of like little bits of confetti or little bugs. I haven't done that in a while. I really like that. I use just a really dirty green for some weeds off in the distance. I, I don't know what else I need to say. A cute little bee. His wing was too white, so I just wiped some of it off. 
in that last little bit in the time lapse. Here, let's do a screenshot and then we'll do a tour. Hopefully I'm halfway square and steady. <laughs> okay, I can get a little closer with this five by seven. So just like a little bullet bee, a little pill bee, a little jelly bean bee, whatever you want, just an oval with a yellow stripe basically. Oh, I put some black in just to try to go for a little more contrast. And then I also like put in some straight up phthalo blue just to break up some of my zigzags a little bit. There's like a dirty green to break up that line. I don't know if it needed it. It's really juicy and pretty. It'll, it's gonna look great when I uh, uh, varnish it. So when I varnish it, um, I put a gel gloss it would it'd be an isolation layer if you use removable varnish, but I don't, I use permanent varnish, but I still call it a gel gloss isolation layer because I think it helps make the colors look juicier. And then in a day or so after that's dried, well, I put on this size, I put on a satin varnish. On the little ornaments, I put a gloss varnish on. Here's a, I'm gonna paint a little ornament and I, I just wire it. I've got videos on my YouTube channel if you're interested in that. Well, let me know what you think. I like, I like they did bigger flowers. I think that's really fun. I really like the colors. I like that you can pretty much do whatever you want with primary colors. Super, super appreciate your support. It means the world to me, you guys. Great, big, happy art hugs. And I hope to chat with you soon. Bye guys.